Welcome to Shyback Studio. Guys, it's so nice to have you here today. I'm spending here in the studio much more time because the weather outside is just like you see. So it's very wet, it's cold and rainy. It's gonna be like that for a couple of days. It's Wednesday today, Saturday we have a race. So I hope the weather will get better. Uh, but anyway, recently I'm being asked uh, quite often to do two things. More info on TT bikes and also some room tours. So I'm gonna do the studio or room tour just at the end of the episode and start with the TT bikes uh, topic for those who just clicked to see some more infos uh, on this uh, type of bicycle. So let's just hit it. I'm going to be making a lot of um, episodes about uh, training on TT bikes and some racing even because that's what I'd like to do next season. Um, it's, it will be just the addition to my XC races. Uh, and I already did some uh, comparison of the TT bike versus a road bike. So you can see that uh, just uh, somewhere in the cards. Uh, but uh, you, you were asking me about uh, how does it break? How does it shift? How does it actually work? Uh, so let's just um, say once more that TT bike, which is time trial bike and triathlon bike is not the same, but they will share most of the features. So let's just say that this is the TT bike. Uh, that means in general that uh, this bike allows you to go super fast all alone against the clock. I would actually say against the wind. So how does this bike work and what, what kind of feature it has? First and foremost is the geometry, of course, but uh, in terms of some components or, or how, how do those parts actually uh, operate, uh, that's the aero bars. Uh, the TT bikes or, time or triathlon bikes are the most badass looking uh, road bikes. So if you see some bike on the internet, you're not quite familiar with the road cycling and you think, wow, this is an awesome looking bike. Probably uh, that's the bike with the aero bar. What's the difference? The road bar on the road bike would have this curve here and different shifters and it would operate in a different way. So on the TT bike, we have a base bar. This one here, like a bullhorn, that's the base bar, um, which is flat. It's almost horizontal on some bikes. It will be horizontal. It depends on your bike fit, of course, and the aerodynamics you want to have. Uh, and it will have the uh, brake levers um, uh, assembled to it. And then we have this aero extension, uh, different sizes, different shapes. I made another episode on that as well, which you can just assemble onto the base bar, replace it, uh, make uh, ton, tons of different positions uh, on, the, on the bike. And that will be, by the way, uh, one of the main um, differences between TT bike and triathlon. Triathlon bike has to be more uh, relaxed and give you uh, the, the power, the energy to run after cycling. Now, how do we brake? How do we uh, shift with, uh, with the shifters and brakes uh, on the TT bike? Let me show you the standard shifters. These are the standard shifters uh, that you can find on most of the road bikes. As you can see, this black here, this large one, that's the brake lever. It would be almost um, vertical and braking lever on the time trial bike, TT bike, will be almost or even uh, just horizontal, like exactly horizontal in, in order to um, make uh, the, like improve the aerodynamics. So that's one thing. Another thing is that also on the a uh, standard road bike shifter you will always you will always have not only the brake levers but also the shifting levers and here you will only operate with this lever in order to uh, brake so this is the rear brake and here we have the front brake the brake calipers calipers are just the same as on the road bikes sometimes would be more aerod aerodynamic but it doesn't matter so much many road bikes today will also have like some hidden uh, mini V brakes or some other other stuff here. But uh, the difference will be in terms of those um, levers, that's for sure. Now, uh, if we cannot shift with these levers, we need some other levers for shifting. And also on the TT bike, we want to be on the aero position as long as possible. So these are the elbow pads or arm pads and we are actually leaning on the uh, aero extension, uh, keeping in touch with our shifters. And shifters, these are actually like just 
like the old-fashioned uh, shifters that you could find on bikes from 1980s and you just shift like that so you have the indexing um, on my model this is the micro shift I have indexing on the rear derailleur so you can see I'm now operating with the rear der derailleur having this indexing now the left one is for the front derailleur it does not have any indexing so you can see that my derailleur moves now and this is how it operates so the thing is here that we have uh, uh, the access uh, to our shifters like permanently for whole time we lean on the aero bars and in order to brake we have to change the position on our uh, on our bars uh, and then brake it will be less aerodynamic uh, so uh, we are not using the brakes very often on the TT bikes but shifting of course we need it for the best cadence so this is basically how it works um, in uh, in terms of the components it can those can be really same like same cranks at same derailleurs this is just Shimano 105 with some uh, SRAM cassette um, of course the wheels uh, would be better if, if there was some, some uh, larger profile but uh, all in all the components will fit uh, normally to, to a road bike and TT bike you don't see any caliper here on the seat stays because the, cal the brake caliper is hidden here just behind the uh, bottom bracket but it also operates in the very very uh, standard way I would say that the brakes on the TT bikes are a bit more hmm, soft or sometimes even spongy but it depends so much on the cable routing, on the uh, type of the calipers and, and um, the wires you have. As you can see these are way too long but I'm not cutting those uh, just uh, yet because I'm still, um, I'm still changing my bike, changing my position, I'm still you know improving my flexibility uh, and so I will just wait with cutting uh, for another maybe a month or two even. I already, I've been already riding this bike for, for um, just like one and a half months, something like that. I, I believe this is all you needed to know about how does uh, this uh, thing uh, shift, how does it uh, break. I love this thing and I'm, I'm going to be uploading much more infos on how do I train on this one. Uh, this is my helmet I have for the TT bike. Uh, there will be a review on this one because it's a cool one and a cheap one. And now it's time for my for our room tour. Uh, it's going to be probably one of the shortest uh, room tours of a YouTuber uh, you have seen because uh, our room is actually very very small. It's tiny. Uh, I pretty much never showed you this uh, side of my room. This is the Cannondale. Um, banner I bought on eBay. I won the action, uh, auction. I made episode on that one when I'm uh, unboxing it. So it's been here. I just changed my uh, my lights. I hope it's enough so far. Uh, I'm still experimenting with that. Uh, another thing I'm gonna change is those old-fashioned curtains and uh, and do some maybe paint job or maybe here on the wall there will be some uh, some uh, numbers from my uh, races. All right, and let's just see what I have. Uh, we have here my Cannondale Killer. That's the one I'm going to be using for a Saturday's race. Uh, here I have different, uh, different wheels for my mountain bike and my road bike. Uh, these are very good for transporting in the car. Uh, then this felt I made episode on, on how to buy, how to purchase a used bike. This one is actually broken. Maybe you can see here that the, uh, the head tube is broken and the seller doesn't respond. So unfortunately it has to go uh, through the lawyer. Here I'm doing just some, uh, some uh, project for some kid, maybe, maybe for some December, but it's been here like that for a long time. Um, and here, of course, there's my turbo trainer. Uh, maybe next week, not, not uh, later than within 10 days, uh, we're gonna have like 10 different trainers here and I, I will do really extended video on that. Uh, here is uh, all the ideas you are giving me for the episode. So you, you've been asking about asymmetric chain rings, china parts, pedaling technique and so on and so on. 
This one is for the Polish channel because I have two channels. For those who don't know just yet, you are now on the Shy Bike channel, which used to be called Canon Denny. Okay, and my Polish one uh, that I actually started with on uh, on YouTube is called also a uh, shy bike so the pronunciation is pretty much the same this one means like um, crazy biking so shy has a different meaning in English but shy is also a name uh, so I just decided to combine those two and this one is called shy bike right now I hope it's uh, it's interesting for you here I have some stuff I'm just giving uh, giving up right now like putting on some auctions because I have just too much different cassettes uh, bottom brackets seat posts and so on uh, there is still some mess here because uh, I'm playing around with those with those how is it called with all the stuff here uh, and yeah that was pretty much the room tour yeah I have also this huge pipe made of uh, cartoon cartoon or carton I would I should say some paper and I thought it would be cool idea to just paint it and somehow assemble it to my uh, walls so I'm, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this here you can see the bottle that I brought from Eurobike in Germany I got it from Joe Tanaka founder of Sipo uh, company it is it was really really a, a great experience for me to talk with this guy here I have some other um, hedgehogs for my killer because I'm gonna re replace the uh, the elastomer and spring um, against the air spring on my fatty ultra and then it will get some paint job but you can definitely expect some more uh, bikes on the channel so that was it guys uh, let me know if you, if you have any further questions it's so nice to to just get in touch with you and i'm gonna also do vlog tonight about my training because now i'm doing it every day and i'm sticking to my plan thanks for watching and your support bye bye